cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews. From day one, how did you get started on YouTube? And um, what were you first talking about? Because I know a lot's changed from your channel since the start. So what inspired you to be on YouTube? And how did you get started? Well, uh, it's nice to be here. Thank you for having me. And I'm very excited to share my story with you and everyone that's watching all over the world. Um, my background actually is in radio and television broadcasting. That's what I went to college for. I went to Humber College for radio and television broadcasting in Ontario. Oh, Toronto, yeah. Yeah, and that's where I'm from. Uh, we the North, let's go raps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I always went to school because I wanted to be a radio and television broadcaster. I always wanted to get into sports broadcasting. That was my dream. I actually job shadowed Michael Landsberg, who is the host of Off the Record in grade eight. And it was like my dream to be like on TSN talking sports. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I kind of still have that dream. Um, <laughs> but it's just been a different road. And I started doing YouTube videos talking sports. And I was making videos off of my laptop with my phone. Wow. That's how I started. And then I learned about something called copyright. And my channel got shut down. And YouTube channel? I, your, your first YouTube channel? Or? Yes. Okay. It was Rich TV and I was talking sports and it was doing actually very well and videos were going viral, but I was plagiarizing. I was copywriting. So it's illegal. You can't do that. Yep. So then I started realizing, okay, I can't do that. That's not going to work. So I created Rich TV live. So in 2016, I started doing sports under Rich TV and then that channel got shut down and then I created Rich TV live in 2000. End of 2016, December 2016, but I started doing videos January 2017 and I started doing stock videos and I got the idea to just do marijuana stock videos because I was watching marijuana stocks for a few years and I was in the cannabis and the public sector <clears throat> buying and selling stocks myself yep. and I'd been involved as a consultant working for public and private companies for about 10 years. And I started realizing that these cannabis stocks couldn't be deposited anywhere. And then all of a sudden, cannabis growth was able to be deposited and sold and bought. And then Aurora Cannabis was able to be deposited and sold and bought. And then all of a sudden, Kronos Group and Afria and Organogram. And I remember this like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too long ago, but the prices have skyrocketed. So I started buying and talking about cannabis stocks in January of 2017. And I called those five stocks, the fab five. You can actually mm -hmm. go back and search rich TV live 2017 and see that I talked about Aurora cannabis, cannabis growth, organogram, chronos group, and Afria. Those were my fab five. I actually called them the fab five. <laughs> now that was the start of many big mistakes because I bought thousands of shares of literally all of them and yep. I was day trading them. Had I just held them, mm -hmm. I would be sitting on millions of dollars right now. So that was the first mistake, but it was, you know, it was good nonetheless. And I had no clue at that point, even though I was saying they were going to explode, I actually had no clue they would explode the way they have especially Canopy Growth and Kronos Group, yep. which have exploded thousands of percent. So those have been huge successes and I've literally watched them grow. And then in summer of 2017, spring to summer of 2017, cryptocurrency took off. Mm -hmm. I got into cryptocurrency and started talking about cryptocurrency and started talking about Bitcoin and Ripple. I really liked Ripple and Ethereum and Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, Stellar Lumens, so many different stock, uh, cryptocurrencies, which are like stocks. Yep. And I started setting up accounts and learning about cryptocurrency. I, get, I got an account at Bittrex and Quadrica CX, um, uh, Coinbase. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that in the summer of 2017. And then... So were you doing both cannabis stocks and crypto at the same time? Yes. But I started doing more videos on cryptocurrency because I felt like it was more in, engaging at the time mm -hmm. and interesting at the time. But I was holding cannabis stocks the whole time. I just okay. didn't focus as much on doing videos yeah. about the cannabis stocks. Um, 
I got more into the crypto. I was really into the crypto. I really loved it. I feel it. like there was a, at one point there was much more hype over crypto than there was for cannabis stocks. Well, for me, it was new because I had always yeah. bought stocks. So it wasn't new for me. I was more into the crypto because it was new because I had never done it before. I didn't know anything about it. I had to get a yeah. cryptocurrency wallet and I had to learn about setting up accounts and I had to learn about buying cryptocurrencies, which is a whole new world. It's very similar to stocks, but it's very different. It's 10 times more risky mm -hmm. and you could lose all your crypto and Quadrica CX is a place where I invested in and they got shut down. Like the CEO apparently went to India and died, but right before he died, which is a very interesting whole phenomenon in, in itself, mm -hmm. he put together a will and left everything to his wife and his dog. It was weird. And uh, been some crazy things happen in the crypto space. Yeah. Like 10 days before he died, he put out a will, which is very fishy. So, you know, and then apparently he disappeared with like $180 million worth of crypto. And he had, he's the only one that had the, the keys to the crypto. So oh nobody knows his passwords. So I had money and cryptocurrency in Quadrica CX. And I have friends that had a lot more than me. And they So what happened to those holders in, in that company or that exchange? We all, we all lost. We lost everything. Wow. Yeah. So it's been like kind of a roller coaster. And, and I also invested in a bunch of cryptos that went bankrupt and took everybody's money mm -hmm. and were scams. <clears throat> and I learned the yeah. hard way there. Um, so it's been a crazy ride, man. So it's been ups and downs. I lost probably close to 100,000 US in crypto. But I made about 100,000 in 2017 in cannabis mm -hmm. stocks. So they kind of balanced <laughs> balance themselves it. out. Um, at the end of 2017, it was just insane because I was doing crypto and cannabis stocks and everything exploded. Yeah. And I did really well. Um, but then I lost pretty much everything I invested in crypto because I got involved with a couple of cryptos that just turned into just weird scams. Mm -hmm. um, now there's so many ICOs, thousands of ICOs. and Yeah, and I had to learn the hard way, and that sucked. Um, so, yeah, so then, you know, I kind of got away from the crypto and started focusing more on the stocks in 2018. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what I've been doing ever since. I've just been focusing more on the stocks, and now we've really um, kind of morphed into Rich TV Live is now partnering with the largest – or one of the largest marketing firms in Canada. And we're going to be really enhancing our professionalism, our image. We're going to have more branding. We're going to have a bigger marketing push behind us. We're going to be changing a lot of things like um, we're going to have, you know, green screens and we're going to have yep. editing and we're going to have, you know, intros and outros. And it's going to be more of a different professional look and brand. And we're going to have merch and we're going to have group chats and we're going to have paid memberships and we're going to have paid um, access to uh, CEOs and interviews and um, early investors will get the opportunity to invest in companies. So there's a lot more that's coming. We also have a trading academy. I work mm -hmm. with J. Lewis Trading and we have our own trading academy that uh, we now have members that are joining our trading academy and are doing short trading and options trading and Jay Lewis is here in Vancouver and um, we have members, many members that are joining his boot camp. So we've really expanded and grown from, you know, a small channel where it was just me. And now mm -hmm. there's actually a large membership behind me. We have a pretty strong community. Our telegram is over 800 members and is very vibrant. And uh, we've also partnered with a CBD company and created a CBD company called rich hemp rx so mm. now we have our own cbd company it's located in phoenix arizona and anyone that wants cbd in america we can distribute cbd and we are also looking for distributors and individuals that want to be a part of our growing company and private and public companies in america that need cbd so there are so many things that are happening. And then if you look behind me, you'll see that uh, everything is really white. I'm renovating and flipping a property and I'm also involved in the real estate business. So for me, real estate has always been number one. Cannabis yeah, stocks. For sure, me too. Yeah, and, and that's something I know we have a lot in common in that sense. And cannabis stocks and 
stocks in general has always been two for me and crypto is kind of a third. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm really kind of still on the sideline. Like, even though I have accounts at Bittrex yep. and I can always get more, I'm a little hesitant because of what's happened with Quadrica CX. So I still haven't really gotten heavily involved again yet with crypto, but I know a lot of our members within our community here at Rich TV Live are heavily involved in Bitcoin, mm -hmm. bought it at 3000 and now <clears> it's at <throat> 8000 So they've all doubled like literally in the last couple of months. So mm -hmm. It's pretty exciting to see members making money. And that's really what this is all about for me is I just want to build something cool and special and have a place where people can come and talk about trending topics. Exactly. You know, what's amazing is somebody, you know, you started your YouTube channel, what you could say two years ago now? Rich TV Live is about two years old? Yeah, a little bit over two years now. It's amazing what it can turn into just from one person's vision. Now you're doing all this, all these, you have all these opportunities and um, even, even myself personally, my channel's not even one year old. And, you know, we connected on, it was YouTube. And then you're one of the first channels. You, you're, yeah, you're one of the first channels that helped me, but you helped me the most out of all the channels. And I definitely owe you credit for that. And it's just awesome to see both of our channels grow. So in terms of like cannabis investing, I guess, because a lot of people tune in for cannabis investing. Just a funny question. What was your first cannabis stock that you bought? Wow. Uh, cannabis growth. Cannabis growth? At yeah. what price? Five dollars. <laughs> That's awesome. And I have a funny story. I bought 4,000 shares. Wow. And uh, had I held it, I'd be sitting on 260 grand just off that. Holy smokes. Yeah, I had 3,000 shares of Kronos Group. Um, at like two bucks that was worth six grand and then when it went to 30 it would have been worth 90 so yeah man like i look back now and i just scratch my head i was like Holy <laughs> shit, that wasn't even too long ago it was only two years ago i know right like what was i thinking so you know i'm sitting here saying oh they're gonna go up they're gonna go up yeah and i was right and if i just held them man and you know what i did make money on them so i yeah. can't like kick myself. I just kind of, you know what I was doing? I sold my cannabis stocks and then I was buying crypto, you know? And uh, yeah, man, I'm just kind of kicking myself about some of those. I mean, things. they exploded so much. I don't think any of us really predicted that much growth. Well, you know, it's funny. I did. I did say that I felt that <clears throat> some of these cannabis stocks would go to a hundred and Tilray yep. did mm -hmm. and canopy growth will. Mm -hmm. And I always believe that Aurora will at one day. At some point. Um, and I believe other companies like Xenobis will one day get there. So, and probably companies like Village Farms and Cineva, you know, I believe there's a lot of companies that will get there. Obviously, GW Pharma is already, you know, it's, it's close to 200. So, yeah. um, this is a crazy industry. It's exciting to be a part of it. I never anticipated I would be in this industry like this. Me um, either. Me yeah. Either. And I'm excited to be a part of, you know, working with you too. And I know you're saying that, you know, I helped you a lot and I appreciate that. Thank you. It means yeah. a lot that you're even saying that, but you also helped me a lot too. So I want you to realize that. And I appreciate that. So, you know, I look at you as a partner. Great. Um, I think that, you know, I like working with you and I think we've done a lot of good collaborations and those videos yeah. have lots of views. And I think uh, we can continue to do a lot of work together in the future. And hopefully we can do more videos like this. Yeah, for sure. I'd love that. So to uh, wrap this up, like future plans over the next six to 12 months or even into the future, do you have anything to say for the viewers or what's your goals for the channel going like from here on in? We just want to keep bringing good companies, good content. I want to be able to be a major player in the CBD space. I want our investors and our members to be involved in the CBD game. You can do that through Rich TV Live now. Um, we want our members and investors to be involved in the sector. We think it's a very fast, exciting, growing sector. We also want to be on the pulse of everything that's trending, whether it's trending topics, whether it's cannabis stocks, cryptocurrency, travel, sports, entertainment. We want to just be a place that people can come and they can talk about what's on their mind. They can have an opinion and they won't be ridiculed or they won't be put down for their opinion we want to create an we want to create 
a platform where people can come give their opinion and they can have intelligent conversations. Yeah, I think a friendly environment is great because there's so much, there's so much toxic, like there's just so much toxic energy out there on YouTube in the comments in some certain channel streams that, you know, it's nice to have a channel where you can just come and there's positivity and you don't, shouldn't be afraid to say something. If you want to ask a question, I think that's very important mm -hmm. because then it will grow organically. I mean, it, but of course it has to be moderated because there's just, there's always going to be some negativity out there. But I mean, that's what I'm trying to build as well. You know, keep the community under control, keep it positive. And it's difficult because the bigger we get, the bigger you get, and you're starting to see this and I'm seeing this and I've seen it for a while, the more issues you have with um, just egos, yep. right? And then everyone has their own agenda. So when mm -hmm. guys are coming into your room or they're going into your community, a lot of times they've got, you know, a stock that they, which is fine, which they want to go up because they've invested in it. Of course. This is why I always say to people, don't make an investment just because you heard about it here. Always mm -hmm. do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything because at the end of the day, everybody has their own agenda. Even myself, I have my own agenda. Of course. You know, I talk about Xenobis a lot. I own it and I like it and I believe long-term it's going to go up. But I can't control it. I can't guarantee it's going to go up. I hope it does. I believe it will. But I can't guarantee that it will. So this is why I say to people, don't go and buy something just because you heard it here because I don't have that type of pull. You know, I'm not Kramer. I'm not Buffett. I'm just Rich TV. Maybe one day we'll be there, but we're not there yet. You know, in two years, we haven't built to that level. I believe we have a strong community. It's growing. I think it's an intelligent yeah. community. We have a lot of good, smart, intelligent people in our community. I know you do as well. I think it's important that we keep our community focused. And I think that that's our job as leaders of our communities to keep our, our communities focused. And sometimes it's difficult and we have to make tough decisions. And mm -hmm. I hope people don't take it personal. Like if someone comes into my group chat and they're pushing a stock, you know, I need you to understand, you know, we're not that place. We're not, yeah. you know, if you want to talk about why a stock is good or why you really like a stock, that's great. But you should never try to tell anyone what price to buy or sell a stock if you're not yeah. licensed. 100%. I got to go. All right. Well, make sure to subscribe to Rich TV Live, subscribe yeah. to Project Capital, and we'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.